Hello friends, welcome back. In this topic, we are going to see the properties of intersecting secant. This topic is very small. We have to see just two properties or one property and two corollaries or two types of it. Okay. So the first is properties of intersecting secants. It's very simple. If there is one circle and two intersecting seconds are there. Now these intersecting seconds can intersect inside the circle or outside the circle. So first let's see the condition where they intersect inside the circle. Let's say this is AB and this is CD and this is point P. They are intersecting inside the circle. The property says that AP into PB that means the distance from the point of intersection to each point of second. That means AP into PB is equal to CP into PD. Now let us see the second condition. If these seconds are intersecting outside the circle, let this be circle and these are two seconds which are intersecting outside the circle. I will say that this is AB, this point of intersection P and this is C and D. Same thing, start from the point of intersection to each of the point on the second. So here it will be PA into PB. is equal to PC into PD. You will see here that both the things are same. Just the name of the line segments are changed. Okay. Just remember one thing. You have to take distance from point of intersection to the both the points on the second. Okay. Now the corollary to this, suppose we have seen these both are intersecting inside circle, outside circle. The third condition is if one of the this line is tangent to the circle, then what will happen? Let us see that. Now let us see the second condition that is or let us see the corollary where one of the segment is tangent to the circle. Exactly same formula will applied. But in this case, there are no two separate segments. For example, here BA and AP are there, but here only TP is there. So we can take TP two times. So what we can say? PA into PB is equal to TP into TP. That is TP square. PT square. So based on this, properties of intersecting seconds, we have to solve some problems, solve few problems, but this property may not or I can say will not come alone. That means the problem will hardly be based on this, these properties. There will be some combination like uh, if they are connected, that problem is connected with the cyclic quadrilateral or uh, some angles in the common arc, something like that. Because this is very simple. This is very simple. So you may be given out of three, you may be given one uh, dimensions of two segments or three segments and fourth is to be found out. This is very, very, very simple. I don't think this will come. These problem mostly will come along with some addition. Some other properties are also involved in that. So this topic was very, very simple here. I think we should move to exercise 2.5. Let us move to exercise 2.5. Thank you very much.